Well, researchers from the Czech Academy of Science have discovered what they describe as young volcanoes on Mars that they say may have supported microbial life forms. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas is in Montreal. And Andrew, good morning. Tell us more about what these researchers say they've discovered. So what we're talking about here is uh, evidence of volcanoes much younger than anything else found, probably about 10 times younger than anything else. When we've, uh, in the past, looked at volcanoes on the red planet, we are aging them to about 2 to 3 billion years old of when they were active, one of the most famous ones being Olympus Mons, the largest volcano uh, in the entire solar system. Um, and uh, we can age them by looking at the crater impacts that are along the uh, the sides of the volcano uh, and we can we know when these impacts were, were occurring and we can time them if they are obliterated if they're washed away by lava then we know that they're younger the lava flow was younger than the uh, the impacting period mm. so they found these researchers found very small cone-like structures that are very evidently uh, um, uh, you can see there's lava, small lava flows coming away from it. They're tiny, small ones. They're each about the, the size of a small hill here on Earth. And uh, they are showing that they're aged about two to 300 million years ago. Now, I know that sounds like a lot. That's the age of when the first amphibians came onto the ground, onto, the, onto land here on Earth. Mm -hmm. However, it being so young, this is uh, perplexing to scientists because they thought that all the volcanoes were much er uh, earlier. And this new one, uh, being so young, it we think may have acted like a hot spring here on Earth, uh, uh, providing energy, heat, and maybe even liquid water with all that heat melting ice, a good habitat for microbial life if there was. And this might these new re uh, little volcanoes might be great locations to look for life on the red planet. So when, Andrew, do you think scientists will know more uh, definitively about this? Well, we're going to be using the orbiters that we have there. We have a fleet of orbiters, and this was the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter put there uh, over 10 years ago. Uh, it'll be mapping more in more detail the surface features on there, trying to get better, more closer views of it, trying to really pin down uh, the, the area around these volcanoes of if it was ha potentially habitable. If that's the case, then I'll bet you that we will have missions that will be targeting these locations mission specifically targeted to look for life. So it's some exciting stuff to, to, to look forward to. It's always exciting to have this opportunity to look beyond our own planet and explore space with you and none better than you. National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fazekas, it's always a pleasure. Thanks so much for sharing your thoughts and your expertise with us this morning. Thank you. Clear skies.